Today I'd like to talk about innovation as it relates to how we view, form, and utilize organizations. Historically, there is a sharp distinction we have drawn between how we view nonprofits on one hand and uh, excuse me, for profits on one hand and nonprofits in the public sector on the other hand. But by bringing these two notions together, by combining a focus on markets and business and a sincere commitment to social impact and making a difference in the world, we have an opportunity to address long standing challenges, large challenges such as poverty, environmental degradation, climate change, in new ways and potentially be able to identify solutions that those who have come before us were not able to identify. And so today, I would like to speak about how there is a convergence happening between the for-profit, non-profit, and public spheres. How, on the for-profit side, companies are taking steps to um, become certified B corporations in order to evaluate themselves and to be able to be able to evaluate themselves and also distinguish themselves as companies who are thinking about people, planet, and profits and trying to do better. And finally, I'd like to talk about why I believe that the Triangle of North Carolina is one of the most exciting places to be right now for those who are interested in making a difference in the world. Um, before I continue, I'd like first of all to thank Erod Sabadi and the Four Sitner Network for some of the slides that I'll be showing you today. Um, and just will also point out that I have a different slide deck but I will uh, continue on. So, so there is, there we go, thank you. So there's a blurring of sectors happening between the for-profit, non-profit, and public spheres. Traditionally, we think about um, purpose, first of all, with for-profits on one side, uh, seeking to maximize financial return to owners, and non-profits in the public sector on the other, seeking to maximize some social benefit. But increasingly, we're seeing a movement from the for-profit side to a greater focus on purpose, building purpose into the everyday operations and business model of these companies. This can be thought of along a continuum, uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, green businesses uh, who are thinking about renewable energy, um, thinking about the triple bottom line of people, planet, and profits. A great example of this is Better World Books, a for-profit company using tools of the markets to collect books, distribute books, and sell them to work to eradicate illiteracy around the world. We can think about categorizing organizations by income, and often we think about for-profits on one side earning their income, and nonprofits and the government on the other relying on contributed income to fulfill their mission. And what we're seeing over time, a movement from the nonprofit side toward a greater emphasis on using um, market strategies, applying market discipline, um, using earned income strategies, in order to serve their mission. A great example here in the triangle, as many of you probably know, is TROSA. TROSA is a nonprofit organization that has a multi-year residency program for people struggling with substance abuse issues. And TROSA has incorporated a number of businesses into its nonprofit model to not only to be able to generate revenue to support their operations, but also to provide a platform for the residents to build skills and have these experiences as they get ready to re-enter into society. If we look to graph these together with purpose on the horizontal axis and income on the vertical axis, we find in the upper left-hand quadrant the private sector. We think about traditionally using earned income to maximize benefit uh, to their owners. And in the lower right-hand quadrant, we have the social sector seeking to use contributed income to try and provide some sort of social benefit. What we're seeing is a movement into the upper right-hand quadrant, and for those of you who like graphs, usually up to the right is good. Um, we see a creation of a whole new set of hybrid organizations. Um, they can be called social enterprises, sustainable enterprises, social businesses, and known by many other terms. Some of us like to think of them as for benefit corporations who are using tools of the market to be able to um, make more efficient and scale uh, the social purpose that they're trying to achieve. There's a couple different ways to work your way up into the right-hand quadrant of this graph here. One, some companies are simply formed to be there. Better World Books is an example of an organization founded from its inception as a social enterprise to use a market uh, orientation to serve a social purpose. And other organizations move over time. 
Strosa has moved over time to think using more business strategies. And the company that I represent, iContact, has made a movement as well into this upper right hand quadrant of four benefit corporations. One way of thinking about this movement from the for profit side is in the prism of people, planet, and profits, or a triple bottom line. And the basic idea here is that these three areas of focus do not have to be mutually exclusive, but rather can be mutually reinforcing. By being good to the environment, we're good to ourselves. By investing in our people, we can run better businesses. By being good to the environment, we can save money as businesses. And by having self-sustaining enterprises, we have the potential to continue to exist to be able to serve people and planets in addition to our customers and therefore build our economic bottom line. Now it's pretty easy for a company to say that they're doing good. But iContact, like a lot of companies, we're looking for a way to be able to test ourselves and also show the good that we were trying to do in the world. And so we went for something called a B Corporation certification. The B and B Corporation stands for benefit, and basically this is a standard like ISO 9000 certification is for quality control in, 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 uh, in manufacturing, or like USDA organic or fair trade. But basically it's a standard setting companies apart who have truly incorporated into their business a focus on the triple bottom line, who take into account a broader set of stakeholder interests rather than seeking only to maximize short term shareholder and owner gain. And we're seeking to use business to have a positive impact on the world. So you might ask if you have a business, why should I take the certification test? Why should I try and become a corporation? For some, simply aligning personal values with professional actions is enough. Simply having an estimation of how you're doing in terms of being a steward in the community is enough. But for many businesses, it's about people, planet, and profits, and how this can affect the, the, the life of the business. And so what I contend is that this is the way that business is going. It's not just about a sense of purpose, but it's about sensing a market opportunity. In a recent McKinsey study, 90% of respondents stated that they see themselves as ethical or conscious consumers. Consumers looking for something more from the companies that they buy from on a day-to-day -day basis. B corporations and other good companies want to attract these customers and retain them. 84% of managers stated that they believe that business exists to do more than just deliver a profit. 70% of employees stated that they feel disconnected at work because they're not finding a meaning that they can connect with their day-to-day -day task to their beliefs and their personal values. And in 2007, 11% of investments under professional management were placed in enterprises um, found using a, a social screen. B corporations and other good companies want to attract this talent and retain them. Turnover is expensive. We want to get these good people and we want to keep them. And we want to be able to track social capital investments, investments in us for long-term sustainability of people, planet, and profits. Also with B corporations, there's opportunities for savings. There's been partnerships with corporations such as Salesforce.com offering steep discounts to organizations who receive the certification. And also within the B Corporation, there are many discounts offered for products and services. iContact offers a discount to all of our fellow B Corporations across the country. And cities are starting to pass tax incentives such as the City of Philadelphia for companies who can prove they meet the designation of a benefit corporation. So how do you become a B Corporation? You go online, bcorporation.net, and you take this assessment. There's a lot of questions, it depends on the size of your company and your industry, and it'll test you on your accountability, uh, your employees, your consumers, your community, the environment, and the benefit that your product or service has on the community. This is a terrific tool, not only to tell you what you're doing well, but also to evaluate gaps and provide a roadmap of areas that you can seek to improve over time. Like many companies, when I contact first took this assessment, we fell below the line and did not qualify immediately for certification. There are things that we've done well since our inception. Uh, part of our purpose is to serve our community and our uh, employees as much as our customers. So we did well on benefits and we did well on our commitment to our community. 
and we have a fairly low impact product that takes waste out of the waste stream. But we also identified a lot of areas to improve. First of all, there were a lot of questions we could not even answer. And that was a, a statement to us that we needed to evaluate all aspects of our business to be able to measure how we were doing, to be able to identify how we could move forward and improve. For example, we underwent this year our first full environmental audit and full carbon accounting to identify what our impact actually is on the environment um, in terms of our operations um, day to day and also all the way through our supply chain so that we can take steps to reduce our consumption um, of energy and resources and then offset whatever we weren't able to conserve or reduce. So this year we were able to achieve certification through many steps that we took to get over that line. And when you're a B Corporation, you join a community, a community of inspiring businesses and leaders across the country who are using business to try to make a positive impact in the world. Here's just a few of you see up here, but the community is growing. It grew by 125% faster this year than last year, and we're seeing an accelerated growth in companies signing up. You also join a movement. This isn't just about getting companies signed up to be certified. It's about changing the way the business is done. And currently, there's an effort to get legislation passed in all 50 states, allowing companies to incorporate as benefit corporations rather than C-Corps, S-Corps, LLCs, to be able to state under the law that you have a commitment to a broader set of stakeholder interests, not just to maximize short-term return to your owners. Already, Maryland and Vermont have passed this legislation, and 12 states currently have legislation pending, including our state, North Carolina. So North Carolina, this is a really great place to be right now for all you watching out there. If you're interested in this space, if you're interested in making a difference, consider coming and joining us here. In addition to being surrounded by a wealth of incredible educational institutions, universities, colleges, technical colleges. We also have other infrastructure which is helping us to drive this sector forward. There's a wealth of technical assistance organizations. For example, one of them being Bull City Ford I'll highlight in Durham, which is seeking to make Durham a hub of social entrepreneurship in the country, providing assistance as well as helping seed up capital and providing networking opportunities for social entrepreneurs uh, in and around the triangle. We have not just B Corporation, but something called Green Plus, which is a locally uh, based certification that you can also take to see how you're doing as a business. And there's movement on the public policy front. In addition to that legislation I mentioned, which is, uh, will be entered in the legislature next year, we have the support of the area chambers of commerce, we have the support of the local and state government, and we have something new called the Fourth Sector Cluster Initiative, uh, which is driving forward the public policy argument to allow for the incorporation of benefit corporations in the state of North Carolina. And we have the second most number of B Corps of any state in the country, 15 right now behind California's 100. These are just a few of them, and I believe a couple of my colleagues are here, including Southern Energy Management and uh, Stop Studios, and we hope that many more companies are gonna join us. So the takeaways I'd like to leave with you is first of all, if you have a business, go ahead and take the B Corp or Green Plus assessment. You have nothing to lose. Take it as an assessment of where you're at and use it as a roadmap to be able to move forward, become a better business, become a triple bottom line focused business on people, planet, and profits. If you're looking to start a venture, think about how you can combine tools of the market to make a social difference, whether you want to make it a for-profit or a non-profit. At a certain point, when you get up into that upper right-hand quadrant, tax set has almost become irrelevant. So think about how you can combine these two things to really make a difference. For all of us, there's an opportunity, now more than ever, to be better consumers and investors. We have an opportunity to vote every couple of years with our ballots, but we have an opportunity each and every day to vote with our dollars. And so I encourage all of us to go forward and think about that. And finally, like I said, if you want to get involved in a community that cares, that's using entrepreneurship and innovation to really drive um, social change movements forward, I encourage you to come join us here uh, in the Triangle in North Carolina. So thank you very much for your time and attention. I hope you found this idea worth sharing, uh, and I look forward to speaking with many of you. Thank you.